Hello YouTube, this is Hunter Search of the Brawler Cafe, bringing you yet another best of Age of Brawlers video. Today we are diving into Darkus. Darkus is well known for being, of course, the source of Pact of Darkness, but generally otherwise doesn't provide a whole lot. But Darkus is getting some great tools to add to its sacrifice toolbox, some new payoffs. So let's get into it. Now the first card I feel really stupid about. Because in the Aquas video, I said, oh, Ninja Gear is the first time, Aquas is the first time that, that, that a faction has gotten a second uh, zero cost. Completely forgetting that this also happened to Darkus in the very same set. Interestingly, both this and Anchor Strike are cards that don't really help, like directly help stuff like Aurelos Trox in that it can't really buff them further because they're not... Ninja Gear causes you to instantly lose if you're still in the power step, and Anchor Strike is not going to be played on your own box. Well, you could. You would technically be getting more benefit from it. You would technically be getting plus 300 and plus 2 damage overall. So, like, you could <laughs> if you really wanted to. Um, but regardless, uh, this is just basically a slightly weaker Toxify, which is pretty par for the course for Darkest. Darkest tends to get slightly weaker damage reduction even though they have the best damage reduction uh card in the game right now because of course the darkest because that card is amazing but it's a zero cost reduction a uh, fairly notable card doesn't have anywhere where i'd put it in currently but it's still uh, worth uh, making note of second up uh, this is the only reroll card in the entire set this is thunderstorm so it's one cost plus 200b which is just prismatic shield i believe it's called um, and then has the additional sacrifice effect that you may discard a card to reroll your box run. So uh, this gives Darkus a one cost reroll, which is always nice to see. And what I really, really like about this card is that it's a one cost sacrifice. This is one of my biggest complaints about Darkus in set one and held true in set two is that there were no sacrifice effects that were act that you could play on turn one. Like what you had to work with was chaotic darknessing yourself with which kind of sucks and sifting ashes which isn't the darkest card um but this and one other card have addressed this problem that i had with darkest design quite nicely uh we still don't have really the payoffs for that discarding that uh that i want like we don't have really any good discard fodder like just just uh something that gave like plus 200 plus 300 b when you discard it would do quite a bit um but we don't have that yet next up we have white mind this is basically chaotic darkness combined with um what's the card wither i think it's called uh but it's two cost minus three damage aurelis power force your opponent to discard a card um so yeah it's pretty good for that sort of stall deck it's just, it's just a stall sort of uh discard card which is pretty solid I could actually see the same play in a hand control deck involving a Vakon that we'll be talking about in just a moment. Next up is Nova Burst. Um, this is one of the coolest cards in the set. Three cost, copy the effect of an action card that was discarded this turn by either players, by the way, by either players. I think this could lead to some really cool gimmick decks. Uh, this could be useful in hand control decks as well. I just think this is a really cool card. Um, I don't think it's really... I'm not sure if it will really work out though. Like it's not the kind of like discard payoff that I'm really looking for. I think like some new better discard fodder cards would be much much better for the for this entire archetype. But I think Nova Burst is still quite the notable card and thanks to Thunderstorm and an effectively zero cost sacrifice that we're going to get to in a bit. Um, it adds uh, quite the number of enablers to make it actually be doing things. The Stop Aurelis flip that Darkest got this set is Shadow Drain. So it's basically the inverse of Hidden Treasure. Um, it's one cost, Stop Aurelis. If you do, choose a player to discard two cards. So rip two cards out of your opponent's hand. It's pretty solid. Next up, Bakon I've been teasing basically this whole time. So, Darkest Cubo. So, when we first found out about the Aquas Pravian Stars and started talking about it, we were like, okay, so two out of three Bakon in this are good. As it turns out, three out of three Bakon in it were good. So, Darkest Cubo base form isn't too impressive. It's double shield, 207. Could be good for might macking. That's about it. But then we got Evo. 
It's Evo is one of the um, the underdog boys. So it's two cost, rather low cost, uh, goes up only if it's a 408, but it honestly really does not matter because the underdog effect is your opponent must discard a card. Hyper Cubo is in essence um, on open, force your opponent to discard, which is incredibly powerful. Like it's literally the best thing uh, a hand control deck could possibly be asking for. It's a super, super amazing card. Um, and honestly, really, really abusable. Um, as I believe I've mentioned with hand con when I've talked about hand control in the past, the low B power doesn't matter that much. Because the goal with hand control is that you're just going to remove your opponent's hand completely. And since you're not in Mono Darkest, you're, you don't even have to draw back. Like, there's no reason to play this in Mono Darkest anymore because Hyper Cabo just does all the work for you. Um, there's just no need to really, like, build towards Red of Darkest anymore. Um, so, because of that, you have access to much better B power gain. You have access to my Mac. So, like, once you have control of control of the game have stripped your opponent of their hand resources like it's very easy for hyper couple to just win battles because you have cards to play and your opponent does not <laughs> like your opponent just has whatever top deck they get and better hope that's good um yeah like it's really amazing this card completely revolutionizes uh hand control as an archetype uh, really excited to see what happens with this. Next up, for Helixes, Darkest Krakelios Ultra. Uh, so it becomes 801 on a Helix, um, and that goes to either 1300 zero or 1104. And then it evolves, it's only getting 400B, uh, but it's still, that's still fairly decent. Like, when Gary was asked about this at a con before, he said that would be similar to Hyper Hydra's Ultra, but I really don't find that accurate. It's a lot closer to uh, to Darkest Fangs or Ultra and its Evo, uh, which only gained 400B for three damage for three energy. Um, it's very very similar. Uh, it's gaining one more one more damage than Fangs or does, but it's very very similar. And honestly, I feel this does put a Darkest back on the map for Helix. Uh, Hydronoid didn't work out, but I think Rakelios has a real, real shot. Um, it's not the best Evo, but it's good enough for now. And lastly, I've been really excited to talk about this boy. All right, this is probably one of the Bakan I'm most excited for in this entire set. So, Darkest Vice Rocks. This is a 503 with Magic Shield and Green Fist. So that's already solid stats. That's already like real solid stats. Like that's going up to 1150. That has a green fist to grab for any green fist shenanigans you want to do. That is real solid. But then, then we get to the best part of this whole thing. It's evolution for cost. That doesn't matter. That that's completely irrelevant. 905 plus 400B. That's that's good enough. Not for a four cost, but it doesn't matter because you may discard two cards to play this for free. Oh my God! I love this card so much. Like literally, just free Evo. Um, it enables anything sacrifice you want to do, anything with Nova Burst you want to do. Oh my god, I love this so much. This has so much potential, and even if it doesn't end up being something good right now, it can very easily become something good in the future when we get, say, better discard fodder, or better payoffs for getting stuff from the discard, yada yada yada. Better Fury payoffs, because this, of course, um, this playing this will, of course, remove three cards from your hand, for no energy cost. So it is of course very, very good with Fury. This has actually particularly good synergy with the Pyrus Vice Rocks core because that has a really strong Fury effect in base form. Um, it's just, this is incredible. This is a this is one of my favorite Bakons in the entire set. As I already said, um, any deck that you build around Nova Burst, like cheating out any high energy cost actions early game, um, this is going to be absolutely essential for this and Thunderstorm because these are things that will let you, let you for a very low cost, get those cards in the discard pile. It's great. It's great. This card is like the moment we get good discard fodder. Like this is like, screw Darkest Tritonium. Actually screw that Bakugan. Like, like it's okay, I guess. But if, 
if we get good discard fodder, Hyper Vice Rocks is going to be so much better for an enabler. And their base forms are literally exactly the same. Same stats, same core lineups, same factions. Um, and the Evo in Vice Rocks' case is just so much better for enabling that sort of discard based strategy when we get the proper tools to really make it good. I'm, oh god, I love this Bakugan. It's so good. So good! Ugh! And the best part is, the best part is, the three pack that it comes in is like all good Bakugan. Yeah, it's the one with Aurelis Gorthion Ultra, which I've already talked about being great. Pirate Serpentis, which I've talked about being incredible. A win con all on its own in uh in the buck on resurgence videos and now and darkest fights rocks all three of those in one package it's amazing really really good three pack like those three buck on don't exactly go into the same deck um but but all the same they're all three really good buck on so that that that's like a really good package like that's the best three pack in in that age of Aurelis wave one uh toy wave the best three pack of the bunch um yeah really good buck on uh that's really it for darkest um next time we'll be talking about chaos of course so look forward to that with that said this is hunter surge signing off